In the videos on importing data from files and creating tables and fields from scratch, I said it was important to give the fields the correct type, but why is that? Well, couldn't we just store all information as, say, text, so we can store numbers of text or a data as text? Why would that cause a problem? Well, let's have a quick uh, demonstration. So we'll create a new table and we'll just give it um, two fields. So I'll give it a field called, one called number, in which we'll store the information as a number. And we'll have another one called text, in which we'll store the uh, numbers as text. But this could equally apply to um, uh, other types of information, such as dates. So it's not liking the word text because that's a field type. So I'll just call it word. Okay. So um, the reason it's important to save uh, information as the correct type is that different types of information are handled uh, in different ways by the computer. So that might apply to things like sorting, and might also apply to calculations. So you might know from any programming work you've done, for example, that if we try and add two words, what we'll do is we'll just string them together. So if we try and add the word hello to world, what we'll get is hello world. If we try and add two numbers, we'll do um, uh, you know, an arithmetic uh, addition. So 1 plus 2 uh, will give you 3. And sorting is similar. So let's just have a quick look here. So I've put in two fields, as I said. And let's go to the, um, the data view. So I'm just going to call it test. I won't give it a proper name because I'm going to delete it. OK, so we don't need a primary key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same number in both columns. So we'll start with, say, 1 and one. One thing we notice we can see whether it's a number or text because numbers are right aligned so the units, the tens etc line up. Uh, words are left aligned because we read from left to right. So if we go, so we go two and three and then let's go for some bigger numbers. So let's go for ten and uh, fifteen and let's go for twenty or twenty one and uh, for 40, 44, and let's go for 123, and uh, let's go for 1,000, for example. So left column stored as a number, right column stored as text. Um, so this would apply equally if we were doing a query or using SQL, but I'm just going to use the filters at the top to speed things up. So what would happen if we were to sort things into order um, of number from smallest to largest. Well, actually, I've put them in in that order, haven't I? But to just so you can see that something is happening, I could sort them the other way and we get uh, what we'd expect. So let's just sort them um, smallest to largest again. So one, two, three, ten, etc. What would happen now if we did the same thing but sort them into order of the right hand column? Well, firstly, we notice uh, it's not giving me the option to sort from smallest to largest. It's saying sort from A to Z. So the sorting options do uh, vary depending on the field type. But if I choose that now, look what's happened. It hasn't given me the numbers in the right order. So it's starting with 1, and then it's got 10, 1,123. So why, why has it done that? Why does it sort correctly when I sort them in order on the number field? But does it, why does it do that when I sort them on the text field. Well, if you think about how you sort words, what you do is you take them a character at a time from the start, don't you? So if you've got a list of names, um, you might look for the ones beginning with A, so um, and they'd be at the top of the list. So you might have, say, Andrew and Adam. They both begin with A, so what order do we put those in? Well, we move on to the next letter, don't we? So um, the second letter in Adam is D, the second letter in Andrew is N, so D comes before N, so Adam comes before Andrew in the alphabet. Access is doing the same thing here, but with the numbers. So it's sorting the numbers into alphabetical order. So it's taking them a character at a time, and then it's moving through them. So it's finding all the ones beginning with 1 to begin with. And then if they all begin with 1, it's looking at the second character. So 0 comes before 2, so 1,000 comes before 123. 2 comes before 15, uh, comes before 5, so 123 comes before 15. And then we go back to the first character. So all the 1s, then the 2s, then the 3s, and then the 4s, etc. So you might not get the results you expect um, if you select the wrong data type. You also need to be a little bit careful with other things as well. So um, it doesn't recognise necessarily uh, things like um, days of the week or months of the year. So if you're sorting 
things like days of the week and they're in text form, what you'll get is the days in alphabetical order. So probably Friday uh, would come first rather than Monday because F comes before M in the alphabet.